Hey, how's it going? I'm Ben from Universal Audio, and today I'm joined by the Director of Product Development, Ryan Wardell, and we're going to answer all of your guys' most burning questions about our new recording system, Luna. How's it going, Ryan? Pretty good. Thanks yes. for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. No problem. So what really separates like the Luna recording system from all the other existing DAWs out there? It's really the integration between the software and the hardware. Mm -hmm. So the software uh, has the mixing and the editing features that you would come to expect, recording features. But the way that we integrate that with your Apollo and kind of the workflow that uh, you have today where you have your DAW and your uh, console, we really integrate that all together. Yeah. So uh, your monitoring system is, is integrated right into your system. When you open it up, you hear sound. And with accelerated real-time monitoring, you have the workflow that you would have had previously in two apps with console and your DAW. That's all integrated into one. So the single channel strip has, you use the mic pre, your recording effects and your monitoring effects built right into the, uh, the software. Yeah. Um, even further, the way that we uh, handle uh, UAD2 plugins is even a bit more optimized than you mm -hmm. would have in your classic DAW. Uh, we don't have a buffer size, so you don't really have to think about which really nice. uh, options. Uh, yeah, you, you have to think about while you're mixing or while you're tracking, all that's handled for you. Mm -hmm. And then even with Luna extensions and instruments, with the extensions we can do stuff in the software that you, we really couldn't do with you know, a third party uh, DAW. Yeah. Um, and further, the instruments kind of bring some you know, unique UA uh, technology in there, uh, mm -hmm. and actually it, well, some of our great research uh, that has gotten, you know, you've come to know with our uh, signal processing sounds. So does Luna also support like third-party AU plugins? Yes, so we support um, audio unit uh, instruments for uh, in the ARM mode, so you'll mm -hmm. have that great low latency experience. Nice. Uh, audio unit effects will can be used in, ma in your main mix mode. Mm -hmm. um, if you're tracking with an audio unit or a, a, a Luna instrument, uh, we actually will support uh, U82 plugins so that you hear those in low latency oh, cool. and it automatically switches back and forth without you having to worry about like you know setting anything up special. That's super cool. So that means you can just put an uh, instrument track in record, add UAD effects, so you can do some sound design elements on top of your AU instruments yes. and everything still stays as low latency as possible. Yeah, if you want to add a delay, modulation, uh, reverb to, you know, to the performance to get in that creative mode, that's mm -hmm. all going to be available to you uh, for the UAD2 stuff. And then while you're mixing, mm -hmm. your entire palette of UAD2 effects and your uh, audio unit effects are available as well. And so how many tracks can I get in total inside of Luna? as many as your computer can handle. Yeah, there's no track limitation, uh, bus limitation uh, on the system. It's really, you know, whatever your computer can handle. We kind of joke around, but, you know, part of the reason why we call Luna a recording system instead of calling it a traditional DAW is that it requires an Apollo. Yes. Uh, but everyone's wondering, is there a way to run Luna without an Apollo? No, actually, the part of the reason, you know, to keep everything is integrated and have that repeatable uh, experience is we need the Apollo connected. Um, mm -hmm. So. That gives us, you know, the ability to have some of the persistent monitoring that's always there and making sure it always works. So yeah, Apollo is required to run Luna. Gotcha. But it also requires an iLock. What's what's the story there? Well, it requires uh, iLock licenses, but we actually support uh, your physical iLock dongle, so your iLock two or three. Mm -hmm. But we also have iLock Cloud integrated in as well. So. Oh, nice. um, the great thing I think about Luna is if you don't happen to be a physical iLock uh, user, um, it's all handled for you. So you log in to Luna, mm -hmm. all of the uh, licensing is handled in the background. We've done a lot of work to really kind of make that not part of the experience and really have it be uh, seamless. You want to try a plugin, it's all going to start up for you. You want to demo something, yeah. you want to purchase it. We want to make that super easy. So if you're not you know, an uh, iLock user today, there's really not, not a lot to worry about. We'll handle you as we get you onboarded to Luna. Mm -hmm. If you happen to be an iLock user, which we know a lot of our customers are, um, you can manage all those licenses just like you would expect um, throughout your studio. Nice. And so that means that you can also use it on an offline mode if you have the dongle, right? You can yeah. load the licenses onto a physical iLock, and then the computer doesn't have to be connected to the internet in order to operate Luna. Absolutely, yeah. And the way that you know our Luna products are, are set up is we'll give you two activations. So you could have one on your physical dongle, but also have one sitting in the cloud. So if you're anywhere and you really need to try to mm -hmm. use your stuff, uh, we have kind of you covered in both realms. Uh, that's already come in handy for me. Yeah. I've, I've forgotten my iLock at home and then had to open up Luna uh, here at the studio, and it's, oh, yeah, it's just already synchronized to the cloud. Cloud, which is super helpful. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. So, which Apollos does Luna work with? So, all Apollos and Arrows are capable of, of running Luna. The uh, earlier uh, Apollos that were like the silver faced ones, mm -hmm. some of those customers use with the uh, Firewire connection. Mm -hmm. Those can be upgraded with the uh, Thunderbolt uh, 2 or 3 card to work with Luna. So, that's a good way for everybody who's that's ever been awesome. an Apollo customer to get into that. But we do require a Thunderbolt connection. Gotcha. Yeah. Why does it require Thunderbolt and why isn't USB or Firewire? It's really about all the kind of the, the under the hood uh, bandwidth that we need to handle, you know, good amounts of plug-in streaming, but also all of the uh, accelerated real-time monitoring uh, stuff that we're doing requires just that little extra bit of uh, power. Yeah. 
so you know, after making this big announcement, big splash in Nam, obviously mm. we've been getting lots of feedback from users on the forums, on social media, uh, and the one that to me seems to be highest up on there is why no Windows support at launch. Oh, okay, yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, uh, Luna's been a big effort, and so we're really wanted to deliver you know the best experience. And so one of the things we decided we'll pick one platform to start. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll keep uh, listening to social media and the forums and customer feedback is a huge part of how even Luna came into existence and uh, how we plan you know, our roadmaps and things like that. So just you know, keep delivering the feedback and we'll, we'll keep, uh, keep listening. The second most popular question that I saw was people wondering how do they get to join in on the beta program? Cool, yeah, so we're currently full uh, in our <laughs> beta program, but um, you know, V1 won't be the, the, the only release, of course, so we're gonna have, uh, be constantly listening to customer feedback, and one of the ways that we're enabling that is we have this feedback button inside of Luna mm -hmm. that uh, you can you know, tell us you know, your feature requests, you know, experiences that you're having, bugs if you happen to find any, mm -hmm. um, and we'll be you know, kind of basically going through that data um, as one of our many customer you know, uh, outlets to kind of craft our roadmap going forward. So mm -hmm. everybody will have a voice, uh, and we'll keep, uh, keep listening. Well, uh, Ryan, thank you so much for answering all of the internet's most burning questions about <laughs> Luna. No problem. Uh, you know, I think this will really help people kind of get a little more clarity about what it is and what mm -hmm. it isn't, uh, and hopefully just continue to build the excitement for, uh, for this launching here in spring 2020. Yeah, super excited for people to, to get this uh, in their hands. Awesome. Well, and if you guys want to learn more about Luna, uh, just head to uaudio.com slash Luna, and you can sign up to receive weekly emails where we'll continue to dive deeper and deeper into what Luna is and how it works. Uh, until next time, see you later. See you.